Hello and welcome, my name is Clive from clivesart.co.uk and today we're going to be working on a 20 centimetre canvas and we're going to be doing a woodland walk in autumn so it's going to be orange and warm and fiery so if that's something you'd be interested in please stay with me and after a short introduction you can join me in the studio. Hello and thank you very much for joining me in the studio. Yes, I just said we're working on a 20 centimeter by 20 centimeter canvas and this is an easy first painting. Yes, it is. I'm doing a series of these and uh, just to make it easier for the beginners, I'm just gonna have a sip of tea because I'm a little bit dry tonight. Hmm, nice Yorkshire tea, that one. Yes, it is. Okay, without further ado, let's have a look at, I got a bit of fluff in my eye. Oh no, there we go. Let's have a look at the palette and we'll go through the colors that I'm actually gonna be using in this um, lesson today. And as I said, it's a 20 centimeter by 20 centimeter canvas. And in case you're wondering, I just stuck it on with a bit of blue tack just to make it easier for filming. Okay, so you don't have to do that. Just use the canvas in, in the conventional way, but I do some things sometimes just for ease of use. Let's have a look at our um, palette. <laughs> Okay, as you can see, I've got the palette set up just in front of me. I'll just pick up a paintbrush. We got a bit of cadmium red. Um, one of those, okay. Got a cadmium red that we're gonna be using today. So we're only gonna be using a small selection of colors. And I've put that there because I'm gonna keep all my warm type of colors there from now on. And I'm gonna put all my, my cooler colors around you. I'm going to use my browns or neutrals there and I'm just going to keep my blacks and whites up there and I'll mix in the middle. I think I'm going to do it that way from now on just to make it easier. Now I want to use orange um, and rather than just mix a, a red and a yellow together I have actually got some cardinal orange there which I quite like that color. So um, you don't have to mix your own colors you can just buy tube ones. I'm a bit lazy sometimes and I think if I see a color I like well just well buy it. What's the point in mixing it? And then that is that one there. So it's a cadmium orange. And I'm also gonna be using um, a cadmium yellow medium. You can have a light or a dark, but don't worry too much about that. Just pick up a yellow, just a, just, just a color you like, a yellow you like. So there's no what's name there. And I've put that by there. I'm, gonna I'm using um, a titanium white in this lesson. It's always, always handy to have some titanium white and it's always good to buy a decent quality one um, because it goes a lot further. There's a lot more pigment in the more expensive types and I and I, I, I use a lot of white. I tend to use a lot of white as well. So anyway, we'll discuss that again. I'm using a Mars Black. Again, that is a heavy body paint. In other words, it's a thicker paint. And that's it really. Brush selection. Well, you know me. I don't really... Um, pick up certain brushes but I've got one in hand so I'm going to use that one that's an old flat I've used that in another tutorial I'm going to use another flat there um, I'm just looking I'm picking up another detail brush number three and um, there's a possibility I'm just looking over my shoulder because I've actually done this um, painting before I'm going to use a little shabby little shabby brush like that. there we go and I'm going to use some kitchen roll. Again, yes, this is all about ease and it's all about having fun. So there you have it. That's my brush selection and my paint selection in this lesson. So without further ado, let's get down and do some painting because that's what we're here for. So if you wanted to pause the video now, get all that stuff together or continue watching, then that's fine. I've also had a number of requests about where am I going to find your playlists? I, uh, the, all the playlists are an, in the description if you're having difficulty finding where that is and I get a lot of people on mobiles and iPads now and they can't find the links there you can go to my website or if you press this little link here it's going to pop out there's a little circle with an eye in it and that's going to be even though that little thing that little description disappears it's always going to be in that corner there so just press there 
with your finger on the iPad or your phone and it'll pop back out and it'll drop down some cards and there you're going to find my information on my free email letter and my website and all the other things that I've got in there. But the one thing you want to worry about there is there's a link there directly to my website which is going to take you into all my playlists. Every single video that I've actually produced on YouTube is in there. So all you're going to do is go to my website and have a look for playlists. And it's all done. All done and dusted. So stop waffling Clive. Let's get to the painting. What we've got here is our palette. Now I've got some of my flow improver. Um, this is uh, pretty handy if you want to pop along to the website and have a look. Anyway, I'm going to put that bit of that in there. Um, that works in exactly the same way now as um, my medium mix formula. Actually, that's not that is flow improver. This is my medium mix more uh, formula. Sorry, the one you want to see on the website is the one with a pump. That's the one you want if you want medium mix. That's flow improver. And I've also got some retarder here. Um, that's a big jar, jar, but you can get smaller ones. But anyway, well, that's enough of that, Clive. Let's not talk any more about that. I've also got some gesso here. Um, this is a, um, if you ever want to look at the video, one of the videos I've done, you'll see that in the playlist. And um, what I'm going to do is get a slightly larger brush, Clive. You need a slightly larger brush. I'm going for a, a, a number, whatever that is. Is it is, is a big square? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to wet a little bit of my canvas down like this. I'm picking up a little bit of gesso. Just getting a bit of moisture into that gesso. Not a lot. I don't want it too thin, but I don't want it too thick. I'm just getting some kitchen roll. And I'm going into the canvas. And I'm just going to put a bit of gesso. This has already been pre-primed. I primed it twice. Just a bit, bit more gesso on there. You don't want it too thin, but you want it. What I want to do is just put put a a, a nice um, like creamy type of color on it all over. So I'm just getting a little bit of paint onto that canvas. Now I'm going to mix uh, a bit of titanium white. I'm going to bring a little bit of yellow in. I'm looking for a quite a pale looking for a pale yellow. Taking the excess off. And then I'm going into the top of the canvas, maybe a little bit more colour into that. That's better. That's the type of colour we're looking for. And don't forget, do your edges. I'm going to do the edges on this one this time. Because I'm notorious, as I've said to you before, for not painting the edges. And because this is stuck up in the air, I can do it this time quite easily without worrying too much about it. So let's mix a little bit more white and a bit yellow together. You don't want it too yellow, but you don't want it too white. So let's just check again. It's a little bit more white. That's better. Let's just blend that through. Because the gesso is on there now, it's going to make it a little bit easier just to blend that in. I'm not too worried about the bottom because that's all going to be a different colour. making sure I've got a nice coverage there. I'm going to pick up a bit of red now on the same brush. I'm going to bring a bit of the yellow to that, a bit of my orange, a bit of my white, and I'm just going to put a line across there. I'm just going to blend this in. I'm doing it this way, touch a wall, I'm doing it this way because I want you to just get paint on the canvas. The most important thing as far as I'm concerned is when we learn in the paint that 
we need to get the first one out the way and we can always improve on the actual painting itself so I'm just getting some color onto the canvas at the moment and down the sides picking up a bit more red now touch of water a bit of the eye yellow coming into that I just want to darken this corner off don't worry about brush strokes and, and, and things like that you just want to like I said you just want to get a bit of color on the canvas so you're looking for something like that and a bit of fun just use your brush and just make some dotty dabby type of patterns like that all I'm doing is pushing the brush against the canvas like that I'm putting some darker colors in place I'm picking up a bit of orange just dabbing 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 Picking up a bit of that white we made earlier for the background and I'm just going to add that in. This is like a like a little wet on wet technique. I'm not this is not dry yet, so I'm just trying to make some patterns like that. Picking up a bit more red now. I'm just going to go in between I'm not going to kill anything off using my brush getting a bit more red I'm putting my brush to it like a chisel I'm getting that as sharp as I can pushing in getting a bit of paint and I'm just going to Make some shapes, that's all I'm doing. Bit of orange now. A bit more red. I'm going straight into neat red now. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just push up. wiping my brush taking the paint off the brush I'm not going to wet it I'm just taking the paint off the brush and I'm just going to drag that down like that I'm going to pick up a bit of that creamy mix that we made earlier and I'm just going to go on a motion rocking motion like that This is all about just getting to know the brush, getting to know the paint. And I am really, really am aware that I can make this look easy. But I'm going to go into a bit of yellow now. I'm going to incorporate a bit of yellow here. straight into a little bit of red I want to darken this one edge off I haven't washed my brush I don't know if you notice but I haven't washed my brush yet and now the paint is starting to get a little bit sticky so I've got to be careful that when I say I'm going to lift paint what it is is because the 
the paint is starting to dry, I can actually cause problems. So I'm going to put my brush in the water. I'm just going to get a nice blending brush. This is just a, a square. It's a, and I'm just going to go very lightly now. I'm just going to knock that back. Get, try and get rid of some of them brush strokes. Not over the trees, because that's what they are, trees. I'm just trying to smooth that off. Like that. And I'm going to wash my brushes. And I've got to allow that to dry. So now I've got to allow that to dry. That's going to take approximately 20 minutes. It gives me a chance to finish my cup of tea. But what I'm going to do in this instance is I'm going to actually put a hairdryer on it. So I'm not going to video that because that's just a waste of time. So um, when I come back, we will be able to start part two of this, which is going to be like this. And welcome back. So that's all nice and dry now. So without further ado, let's get back to the canvas and start the second part. Okay, so we're back to the palette. Now, as you can see, um, I got um, paint everywhere here. I washed a couple of brushes. What I'm going to do now is my favourite trick. I am going to just moisten down, make sure the brush is clean. <laughs> it's always a good thing to do that. <laughs> and um, okay. Let's get some of that yellow mix there. Let's thin it down. Let's get a nice, a nice wash. This is a consistency of semi-skim milk. <laughs> what semi-skim milk looks like? <laughs> Let me know because that's that's what I hear a lot of. You're gonna thin the paint down to the consistency of milk. <laughs> what so thick is milk? <laughs> you gotta get it a runny, basically, but not too runny. <laughs> Consistency of thin milk. No. Semi skin, full fat, who knows? I don't know. I don't know what, what the consistency of milk is. <laughs> anyway, let's get to the canvas. As I said, it's it's like a it's like a, an Indian ink. So if you know what an Indian ink is, that type of stuff anyway, okay. So it's just slightly thicker than water. <laughs> so we we just put a wash straight over. You've seen me do this so many times in the past. Just a knock the brightness back of those trees there. Now if you feel that's a little bit too much then just get a bit of dry paper and just take a little bit off but you'll find that that'll dry very quick. There you go. So that's okay. That all looks as if it's knocked right back now and we haven't spoiled anything. Don't worry. Now using your the kitchen roll. Make it all nice and get some patterns in there. You've seen me do this before. Let's go into the red. Let's go into a bit of red. Just pick up a couple of different colours on there. There's not a bit of red, there's a bit of yellow in there. Let's just get a multitude of colours and then go on and just put some more tree shaped type things there. We just have fun. This is all about having fun. If you don't want to do that or you're having a little bit of difficulty with using that if you want to get yourself I'll just check that in a bit in a minute you get myself um, one of those distress brushes like I showed you um, oops <laughs> like I showed you earlier just stretch spread distress it and then you can pick up just push down push push into the paint push it push it into the paint like that and the key to this really is to take a little bit off like that and then go into your canvas I'll just find some shapes. What I'm doing now is scrubbing that in. A bit of red now. It's just darken up.
the yellow. Same brush, I haven't washed my brush. Don't wash my brush very often. Spoils all the... You, as, when I say you don't wash your brush, don't go mixing blue and yellow together unless you want a green. <laughs> so I know that I'm only going to get an orange by mixing these colours. So you've got to be a little bit mindful of that. So I'm putting in a little bit of brightness here and there. Just like the sun is just catching a couple of these trees. It's a representation of a tree. And even a couple of dark spots in place. A couple of more over there, look. Um, right, I'm going to sparkle it up a bit. I'm going to pick up a little bit of white just on the tips of my brush. And I'm going to... Can you see what I'm doing? I'm going to put one hand down like that, and I'm going to put the other hand on top, and I'm just going to... It's just, just going to draw the eye in a little bit there. Now, once again, we need to get the air dryer on that. So, let's air dryer that again. Okay, so that's now been dried with a hairdryer. I want to get um, my number, my number three, short flat. I'm going to mix a bit of titanium white. I'm going to make that a little bit of yellow. I'm going to touch of orange. I think let's try a touch of orange to it. That's better. You see what I do? I twist the brush. I want to just want to try. Yeah, that's okay. So let's go. Let's be bold. Let's be bold. Put the brush on, push it, and draw it down. Like that. Put a bit of a flow retarder into that because it's not it's dragging a little bit. Can you see how it's leaving a couple of little marks there? So we don't want them. So we'll just put that there like that. We want to put another one there, but this time we go upwards and we'll hardly touch the canvas. So let's put a line like that. And this time we'll come there and go to there like that. On this one, I want to go. I'm going to hold the, the 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 brush like that. Can you see on that side? No, you can't. I'm going to hold the brush like that, and I'm just going to push, and I'm going to let it paint to come off the brush. You can see what I mean is dragging, so you just go back over that. When you're doing this, you're going to make sure the brush is loaded really well. messing about now don't mess about Clive stop it get um get your little brush like that put a little bit of water on it get it take it off you want it damp and just take a bottom of that tree away like that and a little bit on that one there that's okay. We'll play with that one in a minute. I, I, I made a mistake there. Don't worry, let's blend it in. Don't worry, be happy. Don't worry, be happy. Okay. Let's thin this down a touch. Let's get a another one. There. Now you can use a script liner brush. Now for those that don't know what a script liner brush is, it's one of those very thin type of ones, but I'm not going to use that just in case you have not got one. I'm going to try and make this very, very, very light. I'm just going to use a very tip of this brush now. And I'm going to hardly touch 
the canvas and just letting it drag up like that. I'm going to put another one there like that. I'm going to put another one da, 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 there like that. And these are brilliant paintings. You can you can you can certainly do these really quickly, and you could sell these in craft fairs and things. How are we looking? Let's have a look. Let's put a bit more. Let's put a. Ooh, do -do -do -do. Do -do -do. Put one there. There you go. I think that's okay for the moment. Right. Let's wash that brush out and then let's pick up a bit more yellow and then let's just bring a bit of colour in. Picking up a bit of red now, a bit of moisture on the brush. Not a lot, not a lot, not a lot. You see I'm just dragging the brush across. Oops, <laughs> I've gone over my tray. I just wanted to put a bit of orange in there, didn't like that colour there. Okay, we'll work around that one just a second anyway, it doesn't matter. Where's that uh, detail brush? Let's just go over that. There, like that. Okay, what I want to do now is I'm going to use um, a fan brush. And I don't know how I'm going to do this. Let's mix a little bit of black with that red. Let's see what we got. So I want to turn it into a shade now. Just pushing, tapping down. I'm just going to mix a little bit more black. I just want to darken that up again. Maybe you've gone a little bit dark there, Clive. But let's have a look what that looks like. Oh, 
I'll do for now. Okay, so let's go at it again with the hairdryer. Okay, so let's um, let's this diddle diddle, lumpty dumpty dum. Just get your brush. Make sure it's reasonably dry, and then let's get a bit of black on it. You don't want to overload the brush. Make sure this not overloaded. Get that bit off there, Clive. Now I want you to do is. Don't worry about the back one at the moment just get your brush and then just lightly drag it like that very 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 lightly hardly touching the tree just let the paint come off the brush like that oops don't worry about that one saw that in a minute and then the very tip there a little couple of marks here and there and there and here these are what they got like a silver birch tree so they got black spots on them oops too much we'll put a bit of uh, white paint on that in a minute You can overdo this, don't overdo this, don't overdo this. You can spoil it very quickly, very, very quickly. It's an illusion of a tree. It's what we try and get effect of. Bit of paint on your brush. And the videos I make are not speeded up in any way. The only time, as you know, that I'll stop filming is when I'm actually using a hairdryer or I'm going to get myself a cup of tea. But what I try to do is, once I start a painting, is get it done to completion, especially the size, this size canvas. Now there are some paintings like Autumn in the Park, if you want to go and check that out. The playlists are on my website. Please go to my website, which is clivesart.co.uk, and there you'll find a link on the left hand side as you look at the screen for playlists and all my videos that I've actually produced are in there so please 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 if nothing else just go along and look for those playlists because there's hints and tips and advice and paint along lessons that you are going to miss out on if you just try and scan YouTube what I'm trying to do here is bring you on as from a beginner to an intermediate I've got lessons for intermediates now as well. You can also join my Facebook, um, Clive's Art Family, Acrylic Art Family. Um, if you want a link for that, there'll be links in my section that I've got for um, <laughs> media. It's there somewhere, it's on the end. I don't know why I can't think of the name of it now. But um, you know what I mean, you know what I mean. Okay, so we've got some trees in place now. I'm gonna wash this brush. I need to wash this brush. I need to get into some white paint. I'm gonna pick a bit of that color. I know I want that dark color there. This makes a bit of more black with it. I wanna... Gray, that's it, gray. And I'm just going to, hopefully, 
just put a couple of lines here and there. Look like distant trees. Yeah. Go back into a bit of red now, and this just neat red. Let's just put a little bit of colour in. Let's drag a couple of lines across. Don't worry too much about this. I just want to get a little bit of colour going in there. Just put a bit of yellow coming in there now. This looks a bit of white with a yellow. I wash your brush. Mix a bit of white with a yellow. That's better. Get some yellow on the very tip, on the very tip of your brush, and let's just put a couple of dots here and there. Not too many. You don't want to. Spoil this, and then a touch of white. Just a touch. Let's have a little couple of. Lots here and there. Look like tiny little flowers. And um, I think that's a very good lesson. So get a little bit of that red and black mix that we made, and I am going to sign this one in the bottom left hand corner you can sign it in any corner you want, you can sign it any way you want. The only thing I would suggest you do is don't actually put a date on it yeah so don't actually um, date it if you can help it because the reason um, for that is that it actually ages the painting so if if something was painted in 2010 and it had a date on it you'd know when it was painted but if something is, has not got a date on it then you don't know when it was painted yeah so um, just messing around with my soap. One second, my soap. I need a new bar of soap. And, uh, and for people are going to ask you, ask you, and they ask me a lot. For people are going to ask me, um, what soap do I use? I just use baby soap. You can use um, brush soap, but there's not much difference in it. Just don't waste your money. Does not waste your money whatsoever. And it's just, just don't seem to do anything for me at all. I've tried brush soaps, but. You can't beat a little bit of baby soap and plenty of water and your brushes i've never had any trouble with my brushes at all so anyway i'm waffling too much and i need to go and get myself a nice cup of tea so what we're going to do i'm going to take this off the board and again i did not paint the edges but as you can see that's a nice little painting for the beginner please take your time please have some fun please experiment with it that took me as long as it took me to video it so with the exception of cutting it here and there for the um hedra and as you can see it's a lovely little painting designed specifically for the beginner i'm going to put that on the easel of completion and bring this lesson to the close if you are happy with these type of lessons let me know in the description below send me a comment give me a thumbs up please subscribe if you haven't already subscribed by pressing our little button and um, please come along to patreon and um, that's where you can sponsor me if you want to if not just come and have a look anyway because there's a lot of stuff in there that it is available for you to have a look at and um join me in my website there you'll have the full playlists and there's a shop in there and everything else just come and have a look i invite you to check all these different avenues out come and have a browse at our facebook group as well there's a fantastic 
group of people in there now. We've got Dawn and Ian, and we've also got Pat that are monitoring that for me because I'm so busy in the studio at the moment, making these lovely videos just for yourself. So, without further ado, my name is Clive from clivesart.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me in the studio today. And have a good day, a good week, a good month, a good year, because as you know, time is relative on YouTube. So thank you very much for joining me again. Please go and check out clivesart.co.uk for the playlists, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Nice.